Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome back to the glory that is Master of Magic. With the Caster of Magic fan expansion, which has been ele elevated to an official expansion. We're still sitting here with our Mirren Wizard, um, enjoying the fact that we have no AI opponents around. Although we are still being uh, assaulted by some random monsters from time to time. Still this pack of rampaging monsters, Fire Elemental, a couple of Hellhounds uh, wandering around. We could send a hit squad out to take care of that, which might not be a bad idea, actually. If we could, maybe we should do that and get some extra XP on our um, champions. That actually seems like a swell idea. I think I will do that. I wasn't thinking about it, but that seems like a good good plan. Um, I did look up the experience thing in the wiki. Uh, I don't know if it's changed in Caster Magic, but at least in vanilla, uh, your units do indeed get one experience point every turn. In addition to that, units that participated in the battle, you get two XP per killed thingy. Um, including summon thingies, which is kind of neat. Um, by that, I mean summon things we kill. Our own summon creatures, of course, don't get any experience points whatsoever. But yeah, if we can farm some extra XP for these care these heroes, that would be quite nifty, I would say. Uh, oh, I guess you have no movement left this turn, so we're not going to do that. Uh, spells, mana's okay. We got tons of money. I could use it to rush some things. I do kind of still like the idea of using it to generate more mana we were casting a hellhound somewhere okay let me just go ahead skip to the next turn solonar's population's grown we've got a marketplace here please go and build the farmer's market immediately thank you very much hellhound is up oh right that was at the dark elf city excellent and you are building something yes you're gonna build a couple of swordsmen which seems like a good idea actually you don't build very fast yeah, you're, you're lacking some infrastructure. Let's get you a sawmill. Now you don't have any rebellion whatsoever. So we'll get that. I'm not going to worry too much about micromanaging all the food. Move you here. Uh, ooh, I'd like you to join, but this stack can attack this turn, which I think we're going to do. Again, I'm just going to keep scumming a lot. I don't think we're going to need it here. And I'm going to try not to do it for, like, every little loss, but... Uh, I'm still a little bit worried about the Fire Elemental. Although, you know what? The Fire Elemental would be a great target for. Sh oh, no! I can't shatter it because it's not a normal unit. Never mind. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I will go ahead and cast my own Fire Elemental, though. I think that idea is still good. Um, Rakir. So now you have enough uh, skill to cast um, more stuff. So, you know what? Let's just get your own Fire Elemental as well from Rakir. That's going to be massive overkill. And Gunter, I'm going to get you to run away to back here because I really don't want you engaging in melee combat if I can help it. I'm going to click auto, then I'm going to click and hold it so that at the end of my turn, it's going to pause. Oh, we're already done. So that I could cancel the auto, mostly so I could keep Gunter out of trouble. I don't want him engaging in melee if I can help it. Really for as long as possible. That's the problem with melee heroes. But at least we'll... I mean, at some point we're going to let him go, uh, you know, go crazy. And he will die, but that's just going to have to be okay. All right, you got your sawmill. I guess I'll build a granary as well so that we can convert more people over to workers. And yeah, I'll buy that. I think that's a good thing to do with the money. Get the night elf town happening. Um, Wait a second. You're going to patrol there. I guess I should send a, a unit back over here. Maybe because monsters keep spawning. Maybe I'll just keep this army parked in the middle of nowhere. I could send our spellcaster, uh, Rakir, to the town to give us a little bit of power, but it's going to be so little, it's not going to matter. There you go. Move that unit over. And yeah, I'm going to go marketplace so I can go into farmer's market and get you to grow faster. I'm going to keep spending money over here. You patrol. So it doesn't include a saint, but I guess we... No, we're still building those. Okay. Marketplace. I really should make Farmist a, uh, a farming town, just because it fits the name so well. Wow, we're making 100 gold per turn? That's sick. Miner's Guild? Yep. Heck, I'll buy that, and we'll, it'll start turning a profit pretty quickly. So you're a saint. Did I put a saint in here? No, these are both swordmen. Right, and I want this to be the sixth. So I will send you over here so we don't worry about it. How's our research coming, Fire Giant? Still quite far away, but that's all right. I wonder if there's more to do. There are the skeletons down here. 
Miner's Guild. Great, that's the one we bought, yeah. Um, I think I will Forester's Guild you. There you go. Get the Saint to patrol over there. Another Saint has spawned, so we're going to send you over here. And then, yeah, we're going to want to go Settler Spam. But I think it's still a good idea to get a few of these Saints established. And then save money for new towns. There we go. Magician's Guild done, which is giving us tons of power and a little bit of research. We can build the Magicians, but I am going to want you to come out higher level. So that's plus one level, and then we'll build the War Caller or whatever afterwards. You get two levels. And yeah, we can we can get some of that going on. So we got a Saint going to you. We'll get a Saint coming up there. We'll get one for the capital as well. I suppose I can send the Saints to the other, the other continent too, which seems like a good idea. Just patrol. Barracks. Oh yes, and then War College, and then you can start making magicians. Lovely. Uh, so that's a saint to everywhere here, except the capital itself, but that's okay. So we're going to get one more, and then we are, we're going to start in some more settler. You've got a little bit of unrest. Fair enough. Um, You know what? I will just buy the shrine. That'll counter the unrest, and yeah, if we can get some units over there, that'll be good too. Okay, no rampaging monsters. That saint's going to chill there. There we go. Shrine for the Dwarf Town. I think I'll Forester's Guild or... Yeah. Production, a little more food. Actually, no. Let's uh, let's get you to build a couple of swordmen. Yeah. You got a bit of unrest. But that's okay. You will need a little bit more. I think I'm going to get some extra swordmen going here. I wonder if it's just one effort. I wonder if I can take it. I don't know what their stats are. So this is this is a very def definitely a save scum intended. I might just immediately nope out of this. Oh my god. Cause I know the Efreets are very strong. I'm like, well maybe if it's just one. But no, I'm curious about its stat. Yeah, you can see how insane this is. So we're just gonna flee and then I'm gonna reload from the save scum. See, we would have lost fame. Oh, that was the other thing I looked up. Um, the fame mechanic. So the way it works is, depending on how much fame you've got, there's a small percentage chance every turn that you'll be offered a hero, a mercenary, or an item. Um, the chance of being offered a hero does get decreased based on how many heroes you've got. To get the best heroes in the game, you need at least 40 fame. That's for the highest tier. We're going to send you over here. So yeah, we're definitely not going to there. It'd be great to pop some nodes, but I don't think this is going to be the army to do it. So I'm just going to keep this army here. Maybe I'll patrol um, just to get ready to boop wandering monsters. Man, we have a lot of money. Could use it. I could turn my mana generation. Well, I think I will turn my mana generation all the way down to nothing. Um, but so we can convert our money into stuff. Although I might still rush a few buildings. All right, we're starting to crawl up in terms of food production here. So let me go ahead and toggle a little bit of that over. Oh, we've got a ghost somewhere. I think there's a saint that's going to be coming your way. So you should be fine soon. That was over here, right? Yeah. Where's that ghost? Was it down here? Three Guardian Spirits. Well, that should be fine. In fact, I think our little hit squad here should be able to handle that. Perfect. You got a couple of swordmen. They have a little bit of range attack too. Not much, but it's going to be something. And do I want more Dark Elf cities? I mean, maybe. I think most of what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this one up to start making Warlocks. So we're just going to work our way through the tree. Magic Market leads to Wizard's Guild. We'll probably want the military things. I'm going to go ahead and buy that immediately. Patrol. Magic Market. Right. Um, actually, this is going to be quite expensive to build. I will get the Forester's Guild first, and I will buy that as well. Yeah. 
Okay. I think you're going to do some settlers for me. It's interesting there have been no rampaging monsters on this continent. Oh yeah, swamps are slow. I'd love to poop you for XP on my hero. Oh, stroke genius. Higher powers inspire researchers all over the world, resulting in learning new spells. Okay. Is it going to auto-complete my spell in a second? Where is this? Oh, this is the Dark Elf Town. I think we're going to want the Miner's Guild. Uh, we do actually have silver, so it'll give us a couple extra gold. It will give us more production. You know what? I'll buy you, too. Okay. Where'd those guys go? Oh, they're up over there. Dang it. Now, uh, it's a little bit of weaker town. Not problematically so. But let's just make sure nothing super weird happens. We'll keep the saint in there, and then we've got the hellhound as well. And there's the fire giant spell, which presumably we got boosted because of the event. I kind of want a lightning bolt. Uh, I mean, we could flame blade our, our hero units. I'm not sure if that's, like, super critical. I think I might enchant item. If we can get a little defense on our heroes, I'll feel a lot better. That's usually what I build first. Something so that they don't get nuked down in the first round. Alright, this is our Dark Elf City. I think I can just go Wizard's Guild right now. Wizard's Guild, Barrack, War College, spam out some Warlocks. So I'll build this first so we get the power and the spell research. Because the barracks and the war college doesn't do anything passively, but this at least does. We got a forester's guild here, so you can keep being self-sustaining food-wise. Yeah, I can't reach you, which is a little bit annoying. I wonder where you came out of. Do any of these have uh... hmm, guarding spirits? No, I don't know where they spawn from. Oh, there's a few ghouls. Oh, right, that was the bunch of ghouls that did nuke down a hero right away. Now, they do have a little bit more health from leveling up, but barely. Yeah, what they're really going to need is magic items. So I think I'll just move to sort of be in a central position again with this stack. Uh, do you have a saint? No, these are all swordmen, I think. So let me set the saint over here, and then I think I'm going to change the production of this town. We still have some buildings, but I think what we need to do is get some settlers. And speaking of settlers, we've got one over here. Oh, what is this? Two zombies and a skeleton. Uh, we should be fine over here, especially with spell support, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's see. You build out to here, so if we settled here, there'd be a bunch of overlap. Here, there'd be less. There'd only be one square. I think that's fine. Yeah, I'm not worried about this. I will... Maybe firebolt one of these zombies. Oh yeah, no, we're good. Okay, we can just auto the rest of this. Excellent! An airship?! Now that is very interesting, because they have wind walking. Um, not regular, show me wind walking, please. Yeah, allows the enchanted unit and all units in a stack to fly on the overland map. Does not work in combat, that's okay. That is great, because we can have our hero stack move somewhere else. We don't need three airships, I might just keep the spare ones. I mean, they're not bad in combat. But we have the, the skeletons over here. No, this is wonderful. Uh, I guess we could have two airships join this stack. And I'm just going to keep the extra one as kind of a little bit of a garrison. Okay, negative food. Let's go and fix that real quick. And a few skeletons. Please go down there. Oh, this is really great. 
Now we really don't need the Draconians at all. Okay, enchant item spell. Summon hero spell. Oh, there we go. If we want more heroes more faster, we can do that. I think we're going to be spending mana on enchanting items, though. I get a heroic heart, so we have the option of healing a hero in combat. You need one more unit to just quell some resistance here. Oh, well, you can start... No, you're, you're going to do... Oh, well, I guess we have the barracks. Wait, can we not do a war college? Or do we have a war college? Oh, we have a war college here. Excellent. So then please start making magicians. Oh, they move at a speed of three. Excellent. Now, they're not going to be as crazy as warlocks. And they are really squishy. They're really squishy. I don't know if we can have armies that are just plain magicians. Although, if they're not in an army, they'll probably get sniped pretty fast. Still, I think they're going to be worth starting building some. Uh, right, this settler unit, this is a flying unit, it can go anywhere, but I was thinking of just settling this area. I don't think there'd be any overlap there, which is nice. And 13's not terrible. And then there's still room for more stuff. Yeah, I'll drop you over there. Negative mana, but that's okay. Oh, I have the fire giants! Right. Enchant item, fire giants. Oh, these are all... Ooh, okay. What do we want to do? Well, first of all, I'm just going to crank up mana production because we're going to need a bunch of it. I think first thing I want to do is plan to get some items. And so, okay, your heroes have item slots. Um, I think, as far as I know, everyone's got a miscellaneous slot. Some have two. Um, they may or may not have a, like, a defensive item slot. And they may or may not have a melee weapon, ranged weapon, or staff slash wand slot, depending on what kind of character they are. Um, so generally speaking, the thing I like to do first is I often like to do a miscellaneous item, which can be amulet or ring. I mean, these are just visuals, so it doesn't actually matter. Or orbs, I suppose. And it does. Oh, helms including. Oh, that's kind of neat. Gauntlets, cloaks. Oh, that's quite cool. Here, a little purple cloak. Um, I really like giving them the defense and resistance so that they're much less likely to die. Um, and then I sometimes I make a caster one, so this gives them more spell skill, and this makes their spells that much more likely to land. Um, sometimes I just do this. There's This is the mana cost, so it goes up very quickly. You can have up to four things on a magic item. We also get um, some built-in spell bops that we can throw on them. Inner Fire and Pandora's Box. I actually don't know what these do, and I can't right-click from here to know what they are. But what spells you can enchant an item with are based on what spell books you own. Not what spells you know, but what spell books you own. Um, the create magic item spell is limited to spells of a particular level, a uh, particular cost. And then later you can get a create artifact one, which I think some of these modifiers go up to like plus six and will give you access to a bigger pool of spells over here. What I might do is I might just whip out a couple of cloaks of protection, just some, some couple of basic items to make sure we don't die. And this way we can get them out a little bit faster. Um, Rakir does cast spells though. Maybe I could make one of power. Like, Gunter doesn't need the spell skill or save. Yeah, actually, Gunter might appreciate the movement for mobility, maybe even attack. I should look up, hold on. Um, I wonder if Caster of Magic has a wiki. Caster of Magic, Inner Fire. Yeah, it's just part of the, uh, the manual here. Hang on, let me look up the manual. That'll, that'll be the better way to do it. Um, this is not the book I'm looking for, but... Inner Fire. So the Inner Fire's new spell grants fire immunity, cold immunity, and gives immolation. So um, when you engage in melee combat, it doesn't burn AoE around you, which is quite cool. And what's Pandora's Box? At the start of each combat turn, summon a random fantastic creature from the budget pool that depends on the level of the hero wearing the item. It constantly summons shit? Uh -huh. Uh, mostly there and ensure chaos artifice for his options. Doesn't show up very often. Hmm. Hmm. Now it'll only summon a creature if we don't we're not sending it nine things. 
Okay, so for Gunter, the inner fire, and maybe not extra movement, because I actually don't want him to YOLO into combat too hard, but we might do something like that. And then for a spellcaster, that's a good idea. This does add a lot of cost. It might be worth doing it. Now, you know what? I'm just going to cheap out. I'm going to do one generic cloak of protection over here, and then maybe we'll make a fancier item afterwards. But that's going to take a while, because it's a lot of mana. Oh, is this my skeletons? Yeah, although... One, two... It's hard to tell the hexes here. I don't know if I can reach that this turn. Oh, I only have one move left. Hang on, I'm going to move that way, just to see if we can engage it with my hero stack. Yeah, I was gonna say it's gonna it's gonna get in a fight here, so it's not really. Can I just nuke these guys? I think that's the plan. And then just hold the hellhounds. Range attack, range attack, that's not gonna do anything. Ooh, nice shot. Oh, I still should have tried shooting with these things. Uh, swordman, step backwards and fire. Step backwards and fire. And you're going to step up here and attack. And attack. Perfect. Oops, uh, that was a misclick, which means I only get to attack once this turn, which is poor, but is going to be okay. I'm actually going to pull back with these hellhounds. Um, you know what? I'm going to blast with one more spell. Now, every spell I cast in combat costs me mana, but it also um, uh, counts as some of the... Um, Oh, these are my magicians. Um, counts as some of my spell skill for the turn, which means um, I won't be able to make my artifact as quickly. So these airships, they really have a 16 strength rock attack, huh? I mean, I know these things have missile immunity, although I didn't think it applied to non- yeah, to rocks. I think we've got massive amounts of overkill here, but I'm going to move you back. Rick here, I'm going to get you to Firebolt. Okay, I think I'll just auto. We're going to be fine now. OH SHIT! What I keep saying about these random invisible dudes showing up? Oh my god, there's four of them. And I didn't save scum before this. Son of a bitch! Night Stalkers are scary AF. Invisible, immune to a bunch of stuff. Oh right, and they have a death gaze attack. So you enter combat, you have to immediately make a saving throw or die. Uh, and ranged units can't attack them. because you can't see them. <laughs> uh, we're going to attempt to flee here. We lost the Barbarian, the Beastmaster, the Hellhounds, the Airship, and a ton of fame. When was our last save scum? Because that's... That's brutal. Oh my god. No, it was a million times, uh, miles away. We don't have our airships anymore. That cost us so much. That cost us so much. Oh my god. Oh, that's heartbreaking. <sighs> I'm not going to lose my entire stack and my heroes and everything to something like that. But oh my god, that hurts so bad because of losing the airships. We might get them again randomly, but it is all about randomness. Did I end up doing something else with these guys? I don't think so. Oh, those are my saints, right? You can just patrol here. You'll patrol there. Uh, right, you, I figured you have enough defenses for now. And I think the idea was to maybe get you up to warlock spam, which is pretty good. And you, we're going to start making settlers. Oh my god. That's so brutal. Alright, I saw one of these. Some sprites and boars. Okay. Well, that's an easy fight. If we can catch them. They might come back over here. Oh, no, good. 
So they are going to pew pew a couple of things. But they're not going to... As long as they don't one shot... Rakir almost died! Jeez. See? Still pretty bad. I'm going to firebolt you. Uh, I'm going to... Firebolt this one. Trying to cut down on how many, like, charges worth of combat are going to come in. So hopefully they can't kill Rakir anymore. Because that would suck. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're fine. Um, there. Resist elements. Rakir should have just shot with his bow here, which he's doing now. But there we go. That's going to be okay. Whew! Uh, how are we doing in terms of stuff? You've got six units. Oh, you're still just an outpost. You could use another unit for tax purposes or rebellion purposes. I'm going to make a couple of saints maybe to send over here, and then we'll get you to Settler, which I know is different from last time, but that's the way it goes. Okay. Mm. Oh, you already had some defensive units. Okay, so actually this town's fine. Let's purchase the sawmill. Right, I don't have the fire giant. Oh my god, this is before we... Before we got the event of frickin' um, the research boost. I guess that's going to have to be okay. I saw some more rampaging monsters. And you got to keep an eye out for that because it's, it's really easy to miss them, it feels like. Are they over here? Oh, those are the zombies and the skeletons, which was just fine. Yeah, I could summon some extra stuff, but yeah, we've got our combat spells. I'm going to be all right. Um, so this place only has two defenders, so I'm actually going to send the saints over there instead of uh, the other spot. And where were you going to settle? You were going to settle somewhere over here. Oh, right, that was going to be huge overlap. This is going to be less overlap, just one tile. Oh, I was going to send an escort with you, though. So sad to have lost the airship. See? Should have saved scummed. Mm, where are we? Ari. Oh, yeah. That's the new town that just became a town. You need a marketplace, and then I'll buy the farmer's market, and then I might stop spending money on you. We'll see. Yeah, move as a group, please. Two here. Thank you. All right, so there's our fire giants without the research boost. Then we'll work on enchant item. But I actually think rather than spam out the... Well, okay. If we get the enchant item and I can put it on the heroes so they're safer and then do the fire giants, it will maximize the amount of XP that goes to the heroes. On the other hand, if I just start spamming out fire giants, then I can boop some of the nodes with just fire giants and, you know, get the loot. But it would be nice to get the XP on the heroes from that. So I'm not sure. It's a little, yeah, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. I'm still wondering about, I think I will summon an extra Hellhound over here. Oh, yeah, it's already there. Cancel. I don't think I did that last time, but I'm going to do it this time. Yeah, let's still go with what we were doing before, where we're going to get our enchanted items. So that we feel comfortable sending our heroes into battle. War College and Magicians. God, I have so much money. Yeah, build a Wizard's Guild now. Still not going to rush that. 
we set that to zero. If we need if we need mana, we can do it via gold exchange. Oh, this guy actually turned around. That's interesting. Maybe he feels like he can come here. We'll tell you what. Summoning circle. Hellhounds. And then you are going to go somewhere up here. All right, capital, stop spamming out the saints. Do a little bit of settlers. And then we'll work on infrastructure. Ice top. Patrol. It's on a mountain and everything, so it's kind of a good name. What do we have here? Skeletons, zombie skeletons. Uh, that should be fine. Although, again, ideally... If I can intercept the stack and give the XP to the heroes, that would be quite nice. Not to mention just leveling up these units in general. So what I, I keep wanting to click on the destination so that it makes sure it's grabbing the cheapest path fine, but then I want to cancel it so they don't end up just walking in a direction that might be obsolete after this thing moves around. Okay, enchant item. Yeah, I may, I'm just going to do a couple of cheap defensive items. I think that's still the way to go. And, oh yeah, let's pick up the heroic heart to give a little bit of healing option. You have a bit of rebellion. Um, let me just get an extra swordman here. So another magician. Actually, you can join that because you are flying. And we are going to settle somewhere over here. Yeah, 13 in decent productivity. Uh, one square of overlap, again, I think I'll put up with. Is that here? So, spell, enchant item, miscellaneous, defense, resistance, amulet of protection. That's good, and yeah, let's me alchemize a bunch of this. That's actually enough to pay for the item. I mean, we have tons of mana, but I'm going to be casting some. I'm losing some. I don't want to run to zero. Let's build a town over here. Hello, high top. Oh, yeah, I can't. Hmm. I think that stacks move slowly because of zombies. Since I can't defensively summon hellhounds right now, I will try to get there. I think there'll be time to build another one. God, the swamps move so slow. I wonder how many of these dudes have actions left. No, only the flyers do. Damn, that's a shame. Because I want to get the XP. I'm not worried about that fight. I just wanted the XP on heroes. Oh, Saints have a magic range attack, which actually is good against skellies, but we'll just hit the zombies some more. Same thing here. Just try to weaken... God, that is some good damage. Okay, I'm just going to let them close, and then I'll throw the auto button on. <laughs> Healing spell. Nice. Okay. Patrol. And... I will want to settle down here. No resources. Probably I'll just drop it there, and you are going to stop making settlers for a scooch. Alright, here this comes. Yeah, this is going to be easy peasy. That saint. I'm just going to hit the zombies, and then let's go. Ooh, we did almost lose that stack. Which I wouldn't have if I was manually running it, but that's okay. Research shrine. Oh, let's build this hall for the bank. I mean, we've got tons of money, but money is still mana, so... Why don't you actually keep producing swordmen? 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a couple up there. Yeah, we're going to do some more of that. Um, I'm going to settle another city down here somewhere. And then in the west as well. Iron production. Yeah, the population over here is not going to be wait, too close to another city. Oh, that city. It's not going to be huge. I would like to do a city that gets the iron. Okay, pop 10 with decent production works the iron. Yeah, that's going to be a good one for some unit spam. Bit of extra food. I'm okay with that. Hello, Builder's Hall. Yeah, bank. I mean, maybe university first, I don't know. And Town of Wind. Yeah, just patrol here, but we'll send out some more stacks of uh, swordmen as we establish these new cities. Okay, I think this is a fine place for us to put in a cut. Had the unfortunate thing where I had to revert to our save scum from a few turns before, but I did not want to accept the loss of these heroes, even though they're not, like, amazing heroes. But still. Chant item's gonna take a little while to get through. Um, I guess I'm still funneling... Oh, no, I'm not actually funneling anything towards mana. So, yeah, the mana pool is gonna drop quickly. Um, I suppose I don't... Do I really need the research right now? I guess the answer to that is no. I could have some going into mana to offset the cost of the artifact, especially since I'm doing another one, but I still have lots of money. I'm wondering about just pumping into skill. And here we'll get like a skill point in turn if we do this. Which will accelerate our casting spell some more. Which actually seems okay. I know I said it was going to do a cut. Apparently I'm going to do one more turn here. But yeah, we're going to be trying to pump out more and more big expensive spells. So having it go a little faster is going to be really handy. And you, yeah, I mean, we're going to want to be able to cast lots of spells in combat, including very expensive ones. Um, Fire Giant 105. If we can get our skill up to 105, we're halfway there, we could insta-summon Fire Giants. But even here, we could get a Fire Giant every other turn right now, which seems pretty good. We're going to have to figure out where we want to do that, clear out more of these ruins, and at some point puffs, bust open the green tower so we can go to the other plane and hopefully... Uh, our units will be pretty badass. But for now, I'm happy to keep colonizing what's left of this continent. We've got our second continent over here as well. And there's some more land, and then there's some land over there too. I mean, we could wait until we've basically colonized all of Mirren before we open the next area. And once we clear out all these like little neutral sites, it's also going to dramatically cut down on um, the rampaging monsters as well, and may, may mean we can tweak our defensive strategy a bit. Although, uh, with six units in each city, A, that's pretty good defensively, assuming they're not crap units, and B, that does cut down on a lot of rebellion, which means, you know, supporting bigger cities, more taxation, something like that. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.